I have just 5,000 rupees in hand. But I wish to make an investment in a big company like Google or Apple whose one share also costs more than the entire amount of funding available with me. There might be many more investors like me who are willing to invest but drop this idea of investing in these big companies because they don't have enough funding available. So if you are also one of those who think it's not possible to invest in these big companies with the small amount of money you have, then I have a solution for you. That solution is mutual funds. Let's discuss a bit about these mutual funds and the various benefits they offer to us. So talking about the mutual funds, it's basically a financial instrument that pools the money of investors and invests them in a diversified portfolio. Let's understand this using our example. So in my case, I had 5000 rupees to invest. Like me, there might be many more investors who are willing to invest the money. So a mutual fund company collects this money from me, from you and many more investors like us and thus creates a major pool of money. It's able to collect money from thousands of people and accumulate lakhs of amount with itself. Now that mutual fund company will invest that pool of money in different securities, different instruments. Using 5,000, I was not able to buy a share of Google, but that mutual fund company now has lakhs and lakhs of rupees, which it collected from various small investors like me. That pooled money, which has lakhs and lakhs of amounts, can easily be used to buy shares of Google. Not only Google, uh, that money can also be used to invest in other instruments as well, uh, other securities, other assets belonging to different sectors, different industries. So basically, that money is invested in a diversified portfolio comprising of different assets altogether. This is how the mutual funds work. They collect the money, pool them together and then invest them in different securities. So now we are able to uh, get the exposure to those uh, company shares with which otherwise were not affordable for us. Okay, now talking about what benefits it brings. By investing our amount, although we are not becoming the holder of that entire share, but we are at least getting some portion of it. Similarly, when that mutual fund is investing in numerous securities altogether, we are getting some portion of each of those securities ownership with us. So whatever will be the return earned on that entire portfolio, we will get some share of our profit. Okay. So if that entire mutual fund earns 20% return and we have invested 5000 amount, so we will also get our share of profit. So this is how mutual fund offers you the diversification benefit. By investing in a diversified portfolio, you are able to get the benefit out of it. If you have invested your entire 5000 in buying shares of one company and you see the share price is falling, you will suffer a major loss. But because mutual funds are not just investing in at one place, but rather investing in various securities. So if on one end they are basically facing a loss because of fall in some security, they might be earning some profit on some other securities in the portfolio. This way, overall their risks get managed. If you're getting lost from one place, you are getting profit from the other. So your risks get managed out, which won't have been possible if you would have not invested in a diversified portfolio using a mutual fund. That's one of the major reasons why people go for a mutual fund investment. The diversification and the risk reduction benefits which they offer. Secondly, there is professional management of these mutual funds. The mutual fund companies have done proper research work, created a proper portfolio and then are making you invest your money. So that professional management benefits is something which you can get. Moreover, using lesser amount of funding, you can make investments in such big companies. Okay, so minimal amount of investment, minimal cost and good returns is something that mutual funds offer you. Although mutual funds are a good option, but you need to keep certain things in mind before making a mutual fund investment. Mutual funds sahi hai, but only to the extent that you are paying attention while making an investment. 
you should ask your portfolio manager that what is this portfolio all about where your money will be invested in what securities what sectors which companies then you need to make sure that uh, you need to get a in, get some information about what have been the past returns on those mutual funds you need to see that whether those mutual funds are a good option for you or not seeing your level of risk what is your risk appetite and what's the risk level associated with mutual funds considering all these things only you should this after considering all these things only you should decide whether you should make a mutual fund investment or not prefer going for longer term investment in these mutual funds don't consider it to be a uh, option for going for your speculative trade buying today selling tomorrow to earn profit okay you might get good returns but you might face huge losses as well so think from a longer term perspective and then decide to invest or not to invest in a mutual fund thank you